Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm going to talk to you about my first experience doing a wedding during COVID. Hey, we used Alex and DJ Cut for a wedding over at the Barn PMW in Dayton, Oregon, and let me tell you, it was just outstanding. Uh, despite the COVID conditions, um, he worked with our uh, wedding coordinator and delivered to make it a safe, safe celebration, safe social distance. He coordinated the flow of our guests. He assisted in the setup, the takedown. Uh, the music was on point. Mm -hmm. uh, he helped with the toasts, coordinated any announcements. Uh, we had multiple trolleys taking people back, and uh, he was integral in our awesome wedding, which was, MC. A, was an awesome, yeah. kick-ass wedding. Yeah. So. So thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about our first wedding that we did in 2020 during COVID. Uh, this particular wedding was at a place called The Barn PNW. It was a pretty interesting experience. Um, when people first got there, they weren't sure what exactly to do. And the first thing that you had to do when you got there, uh, obviously you have a mask on, but you had to sign in. And they wanted to keep track of everybody that attended the wedding and, you know, just to kind of protect themselves. And the more weddings that we did this year, we noticed this is pretty standard. So if you're going to a wedding in the near future, uh, expect to, you know, sign in, sign a waiver for you guys to attend the wedding. Now, kind of a trend that I noticed that's happening is most venues are using up the whole entire space as much as they can. Um, when we first got there, we were going to do everything inside, but our state had a rule at the time that if you're going to do a wedding uh, inside, you can only have 25 people. But if you're doing outside, you could have up to 100 people. So to accommodate everything, we used up the whole outside area. So we had people that were kind of off in a what was supposed to be the cocktail area. We had the head table um, that was out in the middle. And then we had a couple tables that were in the shade um, on the inside. So because of the different restrictions as we did weddings from day to day, it would really change of where everything was set up and we had to be prepared to uh, know which area we needed for the setup. This particular wedding, we're doing a four speaker setup so everybody can hear uh, properly and correctly. So behind me, you can see we got the speaker for a couple of people, for the older people that are gonna be inside for dinner um, over here. Over here is where we're gonna have cornhole and photo booth. And so we have a speaker that is set up right down there we're going to use that for a ceremony but then we're going to bring it back and set it up and then if we continue around outside over here we have our dj booth that is over there and then we have our cocktail setup that's going to be over there so wherever shade is going to be that's where the majority of the guests are going to be and then we have a speaker at this pillar as well so a lot of these places are using up the majority of the space and you need to make sure that you have uh, adequate sound to cover all these different areas moving forward. Now, when it comes to your guest list, it's really going to depend on the venue. Um, at this time, we were allowed 100 people at this venue. But for the ceremony, you had to sit next to the person that you came with. So we'd have two seats, and then we'd have a gap of six feet in between. If you came solo, then you'd have a solo seat. So they're being really strict on where you can sit versus some weddings. It's just open tables, uh, open seating. So I notice a lot of these places places are being really strict on where you sit and how they set up the chairs, but it will vary from venue to venue. Well, on behalf of Mike and Allie, I want to thank all of you for honoring them with your presence this afternoon as they're joined together in marriage. It's a stunning bride, stunning bridal party, beautiful view. And yet, isn't this just weird? <laughs> so one of the things that I had to do uh, at this particular venue is I had to remind people to keep their mask on at all times except for when uh, they were seated. And then also we couldn't have a dance party where everybody was uh, getting together and having fun and, and dancing in these big groups. So 
it's kind of the opposite of what I'm used to. So I had to remind people you had to kind of dance at the tables that you were seated at or you could come to the dance floor, but you couldn't get in big groups and dance together. So it was a little bit of a challenge reminding people, hey, you got to stay in your specific areas or have space. And this just goes against everything that I've done uh, in the past. I'm usually used to getting big groups together, dancing, holding hands, hands together, uh, interacting with each other. And I really have to remind people, hey, we can't do that at this time. As the night went on, people got more comfortable and people are starting to get more attuned to all the different rules and they understand it's not the same as it used to be, even though I had to get on the microphone uh, and remind people of the different policies and rules. And this is what it takes for weddings to continue and for the venue to stay open. So I try to make a point to find the venue coordinator or manager, find out what rules they have and making sure that I'm on the microphone to follow them so they can stay in business and hopefully have more weddings in the future. Uh, the last thing I wanna do is get them shut down. So I make sure that I'm on the mic uh, letting all the guests know the rules that they have to follow to make sure that these weddings can continue. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Alex Ramey with DJ Cut Entertainment.